Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back yet again to some more Five Nights at Freddy's news. As always, I'm pretty late to things, we have a lot of FNAF AR news to cover in today's video, ranging from the Fazbear Fright books, to merchandise, to FNAF AR, and even then, I still have a lot more to talk about in separate videos, about the fanverse, more updates on Security Breach, you know I still gotta talk about that blog post, I still have to look at the store page, but how about we take it one video at a time. So like I just mentioned, in today's video we got a whole lot of book news, a lot of news about FNAF AR, some merchandise. So let's not waste any more time, hit the like button, subscribe, all that juicy stuff, you already know what I'm gonna say. Oh, also for channel members, which selflessly plugging if you want to become a channel member it's only like less than a dollar members get their names featured at the end of videos now so i appreciate you guys helping me out but kicking it off right with some fazbear frights news the 11th book in the book series prankster has officially released it came out a couple days ago you should be able to get it in all the stores now quickly catching up on a bit of news about it the three chapters in the book are prankster kids at play and fine player 2 and here are the most common words and phrases found in the book. Once again, a whole lot of names like Mary Jo, Joel, Hope, Parker, notably no Andrew, <laughs> right? But yeah, the book's out right now. I would have it displayed right there, but I unfortunately have not had time to go get it yet, but hopefully soon you can find it right there. Moving on now to the 12th book and the final book in the official Fazbear Frights book lineup. Felix the Shark. We got a whole bunch of info on this book because this one's different, right? Because if you remember correctly, the 12th book, Felix the Shark, is a whole bunch of scrap stories, and it's going to be exclusive to a box set. At least we thought it was going to be, but back in October, we got the news that it will release digitally on so far January 4th, 2022. So if you don't want to buy the entire series again, you can read it online. It also has a synopsis of the book. I'll go ahead and read that right now. A dark bridge to the past. Dirk sets out on a long shot quest to recapture a cherished childhood memory from a unique animatronic pizzeria. Mandy finds something lurking in the files of her favorite horror game and opens herself up to a haunting. In light of her son's fascination with Freddy Fazbear's pizza, Sylvia buys her son a unique birthday present. A Freddy Fazbear mask that's the genuine article in more ways than one. So that is a quick synopsis of all the three stories in the 12th book, Felix the Shark. We also got an image from Scholastic that does confirm technically Felix the Shark is a separate book. Scholastic also announced that a ebook will be available for audio listeners. And finally, to wrap it all up, here is a proper look at the front cover for book number 12, Felix the Shark. And now let's talk about the Fazbear Frights graphic novels. It appears the first volume of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels has been delayed to August of 2022. We also finally got a look at the cover for the book. And here's the placeholder. No, but seriously, this is the official cover for Volume 1 of the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection. And as you can see, instead of featuring Into the Pit Spring Bonnie, it actually features the plush trap chaser from the Out of Stock story from book number 2. Which, again, for some reason is in the first volume of the graphic novels. I still don't know why. And speaking of covers, we also got the How to Draw FNAF book cover. Now, interestingly enough, you may recognize some of these illustrations because they were in the coloring book of FNAF. So it looks like they're just kind of reusing drawings, which I guess is fine. I, I don't care. Now, moving on, let's talk about what is happening in the world of Illumix and FNAF AR. On Daco's charity stream, we got three brand new teasers for FNAF AR's gameplay update. The first one is of a purple key that has Freddy's face on it. The second one appears to be some sort of house with a chair and a book shelf. It also looks like there could be something outside the window, but I don't know what it could be. And the third and final teaser is of a locked door. I, I I don't even know what these could be hinting at. A lot of people joked that they could be loot boxes, which knowing a Lumix, yeah, I can see. I really have no clue what this could be. I feel like this doesn't really give us any solid hints, but you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And we also got an official update from FNAF AR themselves saying, hey all, we know you've been super patient as we've been walking towards our big update, which will launch in November 
what about more details on that? Well, there are already some teasers that have made their way out there, talking about the Darko teasers, with more to come, much, much more. And how about we also let you in on a secret? We hear that there's another fun special delivery that will be making its way to FNAF AR. Ready? This is for your ears only. Come December, a new animatronic character will be joining the frightening fun. They also talk about a photo booth, but uh, do people care about those anymore? <laughs> so yeah, quick update. <laughs> Frankly, it's stuff we already knew about. Like, hey, this update's still coming out this year, and hey, you're still only getting one new character this year. You already knew that, but we're just gonna say it again and leave. All right, bye-bye. To be fair, Illumix has been working a lot with Disney recently, if you've seen their tweets. I'll give it to them. The technology that they use looks pretty spectacular. I'm just a little worried that the Disney collaboration kind of took away development from FNAF AR because it has been very quiet. So I hope that the new AR engine that they made with Disney, they can use in FNAF AR because that would be incredible. Uh, but yeah, I'm still definitely worried about the future of this game. Let's move on. Quickly touching upon some more more generic merchandise news. Apparently the previously found FNAF Pocket Pop Advent Calendar that was discovered in July has just been cancelled. And as you can see from Kane's tweet, it looks like the Pint Size Heroes Advent Calendar we got instead is kind of the replacement for that. A little upsetting, but it would be weird to have two Advent Calendars, you know? And now going back to the FNAF U2s. If you don't know, we're getting U2s figures based off of the core FNAF collection, aka basically just FNAF 1. Security Breach and also Fazbear Fanverse. And recently, in an AMA on Reddit, they revealed quite a lot about the current status of the U2s. Number one, the figures are currently in the prototyping phase. Number two, there are going to be four figures in the core FNAF wave and five figures in the security breach wave. Number three, the current planned release date is early 2022. Number four, the bonus item in the security breach wave is a figure. I don't know if the five figures include the bonus figure, so the original one has four. I don't know. It could have five and the bonus one is six. It could be four and the bonus one is five. But I'm assuming the baseline collection for Security Breach is five, and then we get a sixth bonus one. And finally, the Security Breach, FNAF, and Fanverse collections will be released separately, meaning they're not going to drop all, like, 15 figures all at the same time. They're going to be spaced out. And now, finally, let's talk about brand new FNAF Security Breach merchandise. Because once again, again god dang it bro mad pat the game theorist and creator inc are back at it again with another fnaf collection and this time it's entirely based around security breach and the release date for all of this is tomorrow November 6th. And while I don't have all of the products that are going to be available, a few products have leaked already. Before we hop into a look at the actual products, here are all of the search results. It looks like this is going to be a pretty big launch, because you can see just how many items there are. And like I mentioned, a few products have already leaked online. First up, here's a look at Freddy, Monty, and Roxanne sleeved shirts. There is going to be one for Chica, it's just not on this image. And as you can see, it features the animatronics and their respective rooms in the Pizzaplex. So you have Freddy Fazbear's Phaser Blast Arena, Montgomery the Gator's Gator Golf Course, and Roxanne the Wolf's Racing Club. Then here's a look at some patches for, again, Freddy, Chica, Monty, and Roxanne. Looks like Freddy says Rockstar, Chica says Let's Party, Monty says Rar, and Roxanne says Skills. Here's a look at some of the Glamrock socks which will feature the Glamrock animatronics. And finally, so far, here is a look at a lanyard for Glamrock Freddy. There's also a $95 jacket that's been found on the store. Unfortunately, no images just yet. And if you want to know some prices, the socks go for about $12, the lanyard about $15, and the shirts are going to be about $30. So some very interesting news for today. Also some very interesting news to look forward to in the future coming very very soon. I'm gonna do a lot of recording over the weekend, so expect a lot of FNAF news video next week. Tell me what do you think about everything going on with the Security Breach merchandise? What do you think is gonna happen in the new FNAF AR gameplay update? How do you feel about Fazbear Fritz coming to an end this year? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.